Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Knots. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber, and today I'm showing you how to draw a Triskel cross from about the 8th century. What we're going to do is shade in the negative area, and then we're going to use a 0.8, your thickest pigment liner, to fill it in. I'm going to start by cross hatching and just outline that area there. Now that I've drawn the borders, I'm just going to Cross hatch like so. Do it all in one way, and then another. I notice the light's a little bit different. My kids just got home from Disney World, so I had to go in and say hello. All right. I'm just going to color in the small areas with my 0.8 pigment liner that I wouldn't be able to fit with my thick marker because I'm going to utilize my thick calligraphy marker to do the rest and it's about 0.2 millimeters wide So I go slow at the edges and then quicker on the inside. Just so I don't make a mistake. There we go. Slow at the edges. This would look really good if I did the background in like a blue watercolor and then made the ribbon in like a warm gold. I know somebody emailed me a design that they did from one of my earlier knots and they painted it and it just looked really good. So if you ever had any questions about drawing or any steps that you're stuck on, feel free to email me at my website at bellchamber.net. Just look up jason at bellchamber.net. Or you could go through the YouTube. The only problem with the YouTube is they don't let you put hyperlinks in there. Alright. We'll get down to the end of the design. That's looking really good. Once we get to the end of this, what we're going to do is uh, overlook all of the ribbons and see if there's any ribbon that looks a little thicker or doesn't have any smooth areas due to doing it by hand. And we're just going to correct those the thin marker again. One of the sad things about markers is they don't last forever. And you can see that my calligraphy marker here is giving me its last effort. These things are hard to find. I had order some off a of the internet. Although you could probably
probably find them in a big art store in a big metropolitan area that has got an art college. There, now we just have to do these ones. and go on the outside of each line just to make it look a little bit more on purpose just to clean it up a bit too Try to get the ink on the outside edge of the design because I want to be careful not to make a mistake. Thank you.